Does increased wetness increase line width? I know it will on cheap paper, but what about on Rhodia? Okay, so basically you're talking about wetness of a pen or an ink. I'll kind of lump them both together because they can both be a factor. So will it increase line width? Um, the short answer is maybe. <laughs> So uh, with absorbent paper, like you, you called it cheap paper, but I'll call it absorbent paper because cheap doesn't necessarily mean bad or good or whatever. Generally it means bad, but um, absorbent paper uh, will definitely have more spread. Um, so that means that the, the ink, as it, if it's wetter, more ink is coming out, which means that it's going to absorb more into the paper and spread out and the line that you're seeing is going to look wider. A great example of this is if you use like a sticky note or a uh, an index card that's not you know just like typical regular index card um, those are probably going to be uh, a much wider line width than if you use something like Rhodia um, or if you want a really a really extreme example take a paper towel or a tissue or something and just take your nib and drag it across and you'll see it'll just soak in and spread out so that's a very absorbent paper, uh, and that will really cause it to spread out. So that just shows you kind of the extreme example of how, how your line width can change based purely off of changing the paper. So with that as a factor, um, you know, if you have something like Rhodia, which is much less absorbent, uh, you could assume that you're going to have less spread than you would have with a paper towel, just to give you two extremes of the example. Um, so if you have a really wet pen, you can expect that, you know, it's, it's going to change the, change the, the factor a little bit, but even still you're going to have less spread going on Rhodia than you would on absorbent paper. So that, um, that pretty much will, uh, will cover that, I think. Um, so the, and it's, it's kind of, a I'm trying to think of like a good metaphor or analogy or something to go with this and, and it's escaping me. But basically, when you have a really absorbent paper, it's probably going to vary more in its line width based on how wet your pen or ink is. Whereas something like Rhodia that isn't very absorbent at all, rather than spreading out, the wetter your pen gets, the more it's just going to pool up and kind of leave like a darker, more saturated line on the page. And a really good example of this is when you're using a flex pen because that really dumps ink on there. It's not gonna spread out necessarily, but it's literally gonna pool up and can sometimes even leave like a bubble of ink on the page that takes forever to dry, but it gives a good example of how it's not gonna spread out like crazy. Whereas if you use it on something like a paper towel or really cheap paper, it's gonna spread and just look like a caterpillar. Um, so that kind of pretty much covers what I wanted to say about that. Now there are some exceptions as far as inks go. Um, things like fast drying inks, certain permanent inks have more of a propensity to soak in. Certain lubricated inks too tend to be more absorbent themselves and soak in, specifically the fast dry inks, because fast dry inks are formulated specifically to absorb quickly into the paper and spread out so that it doesn't uh, smear. That's why they're designed that way. So even on a paper like Rhodia, it's gonna spread out a little bit more than it would uh, a conventional ink. So there are some inks that are exceptions, uh, but for the most part, something like a Rhodia is gonna hold tighter to its true line, and it's just the color's gonna look darker. And a more absorbent paper, it's gonna spread out more, and the color is gonna look more or less the same, whether you have a wet pen or not.